Yeah. It's just repetition over and over and over and over again. Just kind of like the factoring. Same kind of thing. You've, you identify the patterns and you repeat, you repeat, you repeat. So therefore, when you guys look at a problem, you're not like, oh, let me, because like here I'm teaching. I'm going to teach this the slow way, right? And for you guys to understand this, that's important. But like once we get to the problems in the next couple of chapters, I, I obviously don't want to spend two minutes explaining how to do the problem. I'm going to expect you guys can be able to do a lot of this stuff without having to sketch the angle. But let's go ahead and sketch 2 pi over 3. So again, let's go with our understanding of, of pi. We know that pi represents half of the circle, right? And we have 2 pi over 3, which is the same thing as 2 thirds of pi. So if I want 2 parts of 3, that means I need to break up pi into thirds, right? And then basically what I'm asking for is I want two of those parts. So from here to here would be pi over 3. From here to here is 2 pi over 3, which is our answer. And if I was going to do this one more time, I would get 3 pi over 3. 3 pi over 3 is the same thing as pi, right? But again, we can just see our answer here. Is 2 pi over 3, which is right there. right? That is our angle in standard form. Now let's talk about the reference angle. The reference angle is the positive acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Here's the terminal side. Here's the x-axis. We're basically asking ourselves, what I wrote in green, how far away is the terminal side away from the x-axis? And again, the thing about it, guys, we went two parts out of three. We would only have to go one more third to get to the x-axis. So the reference angle is? Reference angle is pi over 3. We don't want to say from here to here because that's not acute, right? It has to be acute. It's not acute. It's not a reference angle. That angle is acute. Notice how here I have an, a here I have an arrow, right? Because we're, we're talking about direction. You're going from here to here. Notice how the reference angle does not have a direction because it doesn't, direction does not apply. It's always positive and it's always acute. Make sense? Yes? Um, let's do the next one. 